Hey guys, uh, McDonough Coaching. So we're looking at mobility of quads and hip flexors. Uh, so if you've got uh, anterior knee pain, so your patellofemoral femoral pain syndrome or some tendinopathy, um, uh, you can get into the quads and release them. So we're going to a foam roller first into the quads. So we're going to start kind of uh, lateral quads and then kind of roll into the middle using three techniques. You're going to do the pressure wave where you're kind of rolling the the foam roller up and down and the uh, contract or relax so you'll get to a point of tenderness and you'll trigger point it essentially so you contract the quads and then relax contract and relax five seconds five to ten seconds contract five to ten seconds relax and that just gets deeper into it and then you're kind of floss where you're bending your leg as well so coming inside here so again so if we bring this top leg over and then you can get more pressure into those tight points. And again, pressure wave coming up and down and then contract or relax. So if I push my left leg into the floor, it contracts my quad and then relax. And then you can floss and then you can come on to more anterior, the front. So I can kind of bend in my, bring my heel towards my bum. And you're, you're searching for those tight areas. Okay, and again, spending as much as you need, minimum of two minutes, I'd say. You could be 10 minutes until you feel like it's released. And then you can get the ball just above the knee. So you can get it kind of the side here to where you're around where your tendon, uh, uh, tendon attaches, the middle and then the side. So again, so if we go in the inside first, so you're kind of lying more sideways. Again, you can pressure wave. Again, you can contract, relax, and then you can floss by bending the knee. And then onto the front, again, pressure wave, contract, relax, and floss. And again, coming more on the lateral aspect, contract, relax, Pressure wave and floss. And again, spending as much time as you need, at least two minutes on both sides. And uh, we'll do it in another video. You can do your voodoo band, either above the knee, below the knee, or above and below the knee. And then you'd mobilize and but we'll do that in another video. Then we go into banded work. So again, so you're working essentially on your hip extension. Um, so if we come in here. Okay, so again, you can do it as a, as a lunge. And then you can do it as a, as a stretch. Again, you're squeezing your glute. So I'm squeezing my left glute to stop me overextending and my lower back. And driving through that hip. And the band adds that extra, extra joint mobility aspect. Um, and then we go to uh, what we call a, a couch stretch. So up against the wall. So if you've got a nice soft floor, you don't need the mat. So you want to come in as close as you can to the wall and then trying to get your shin against the wall. Again, it's a good test. You should be able to get your shin against the wall and your back up against the wall. I'm a bit tight, so hence why I'm working on these. And then you can spend some time in this position first. So you're going to get more of a stretch of just quads. And then trying to come up to get your back. Again, I'm squeezing my glutes. My glutes so I'm not overextending on my lower back. And again, about two minutes here. And you can kind of rotate a bit, finding those tight areas. Again, it should be uncomfortable, not painful. If you start getting any radiating symptoms on the leg, you're probably over stretching. <laughs> And then you can use a band as well, but it's a bit awkward. And then the last one, just kind of get them to more inner thigh. Again, so if you're having strict trouble of keeping your knees out at the bottom of the squat, then you can come into this kind of uh, adductor stretch. So put your foot up on, a, up on a box or a chair, and then you drop your outside of your shin down, and then coming out. And again, you want to kind of rotate your body forward again, squeezing the glutes, and you'll get aspects of that 
front of the hip as well. Yeah, and again, two minutes into this position. Again, you can contract, relax, contract your quads and adductors, and then relax and try to sink into it deeper. Yeah, and again, obviously, you're going to be loading your quads as well if it's a knee pain that you're looking for. But those kind of techniques, again, can re relieve some of that knee pain. All right, cool.